government imposed one of the world's strongest and strictest lockdowns, which lasted from March up to now. More than 50 million Filipinos were forced to stay at home in the entire region of Luzon. With this pandemic, there is a lot of life that is lost, including humans and animals. As the new year comes, there's a new COVID-19 variant that comes from the United States. Public health is about the science of protecting people and protecting their community and it is often around protecting in the form of health. There are different ways in promoting public health and one can be about the promotion of good health practice but it can extend to the other side of the coin whereby we are looking at how to detect, how to monitor and how to prevent different diseases. One Health is the approach to looking at societal diseases of societal issues around the world. And it takes the form or it takes the premise that when you look at diseases, you need to look at them more multidisciplinary. And so in other words, you don't just focus on human health, but you need to think about the consequences in animal health and the whole ecosystem. The COVID-19 is a classical and a major public health issue because it's affecting humans and it's affecting communities and the World Health Organization called it public enemy number one. We can see that there's many groups who never thought would ever need to be involved in health right now. So we thank our frontline staff, our nurses, our doctors, our healthcare workers, and we are supported behind the scenes with people who have specialist qualifications in public health. While the One Health approach is considered crucial to address governance challenges of zoonotic diseases and is widely supported in theory, its implementation in practices remains quite limited. Our global One Health network intends to facilitate wider awareness and implementation of One Health approach to governance of infectious diseases through new research and comparative case studies, and a deliberate and reflexive effort to ensure cross-disciplinarity in all of its activities. Our findings directly feed into the policy-making process through high-level knowledge users. We encourage others to collaborate with us in new research initiatives and through our emerging community of practice, which includes actors from local to global governance level in this new public health and